Hi there, today we are going to talk about 7.5M Longboat Hull CFD simulation using OpenFoam software. There are some tutorials are available in OpenFoam software directory. Location, wsl.localhost Ubuntu USR lib OpenFoam OpenFoam 2306 tutorials. For Hull simulation we choose DTC Hull tutorial. For Hull go to backslash tutorials backslash multiphase backslash interfoam backslash rs backslash DTC Hull. Copy that DTC Hull folder and paste it to home folder of Ubuntu. Here is a question. Why we are using that tutorial as a reference? Just because, open phone community generate that tutorial on which they done validated simulation that has no error related. First, we have to generate block mesh. For block mesh, we need STL file of our whole model, background mesh, and surface feature extract. Now, copy the STL file and go to constant folder, create a folder with that name, try surface, and paste here the STL file. Note, follow the same syntax. Run the software by using this command in Ubuntu, OpenFoam 2306, following that same syntax. Go to System folder and open the block mesh dict with notepad to do changes. As you can see there are 6 blocks generated in block mesh and look at the number of cells at X, Y, Z plan of the blocks and their grading. Look at block 1 vertices its number of cells in XYZ plans and its grading in XYZ plan, 110.05. Grading means cells distribution ratio along the XYZ plan of the block. Below that there's some boundary condition plans define. Note we are not going to edit these parameters. I did change these parameters then mesh generation become complex for me because I have not known how they actually works and its mesh generation will take too much extensive period of time. Mesh generation is iterative process but we don't need to struck our mind with it. Run block mesh command in Ubuntu that will generate 6 blocks with number of cells and grading. After that, run that command, 
touch open.foam that will generate a 0kb file that we can use to visualize. What is happening in open foam working? Open Paraview software and upload that file open.foam into Paraview and click on apply that will show you the six blocks, its number of cells and grading, when click on view edges. Upload the STL file of DTC hull and NPL hull into Paraview. Select NPL file in Paraview and go to filter option on top bar of Paraview windows, then click on transform. Then rescale the parameters according to DTC hull. Set scale factor to 0.836 in XYZ for 3D scaling then apply it. This will scale down the NPL hull to DTC hull length. 0.836 ratio factors is difference of DTC hull overall length that is 6.27 and NPL hull overall length that is 7.5. Because we are not going to change the parameters of the meshing. But we can change the R hull parameters, but after meshing we will scale the whole mesh so NPL hull length again scale up to 7.5 meters. We'll talk on scale mesh later. After transforming, click and select the transform section on Paraview then export that transform from Paraview into STL format with that name, NPL underscore scale then copy that file and paste into tri-surface folder into constant and remove the previous STL file from that folder. Go to System folder, open the Surface feature Extract Dict with Notepad and replace the name of file with npl underscore scale dot stl. Then run that command, Surface Feature Extract. Thank you. 
Now run these commands as follow. Topaset dict backslash system backslash topaset dict point one. Refine mesh overwrite. Repeat above two commands for six times in same pattern and every time change one, two, three, four, five, six in topaset command. The purpose of these commands to select the certain number of cells from block mesh and refine them more. Go to System folder, open the snappy hex mesh dict with notepad and replace the name of file with npl underscore scale dot stl and scroll down change in that dict also replace in refinement regio section npl underscore scale dot a mesh. Here you can change these parameters just to improve the snapping. In castellated mode, you can change the levels of refinement and check their results iteratively. In snap mode, you can change number of min refinement, tolerance value, and check them iteratively. But that will take extensive time period. Now as before we are not going to change those parameters. Just run that command, snappy hex mesh overwrite. Note, must use overwrite command otherwise it will generate separate 1, 2, 3 folders for castellation snapping, and add layers, but we need to replace actual mesh file with that snapping process files. Now, run that command to scale up the whole mesh so that whole size again becomes 7.5 meters. Scale mesh 1.195, that factor is difference of NPL whole overall length that is 7.5 and DTC whole overall length that is 6.27.